Je dis attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain, allumage des EAP et décollage. Night sky over Kourou here, always an impressive sight. 775 tons bord, lifting off. The DDO is saying that everything is okay on board. Alex has just come rushing in. You look very pleased of what you've seen. How was it out there? Uh, that was absolutely terrific. It was a marvelous show. The light and sound were absolutely impressive. What impressed you most? Uh, I think the, 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 the sound, but it comes a little bit later, but the sound is really impressive. It's not the first time you've seen a launch. No, it's not the first time, but each time it's a little bit like the first time. All right, sounds, sounds <laughs> exciting. I'll go out next time. So we are now uh, in flight. So from now on, we shall leave the green panel and follow the launcher's <laughs> health status on this little graphic that you can see on the upper left of the screen. Now, what is that? That's the, the real trajectory and the optimum. Yes, the, well, the curve represents a computed simulation of the whole trajectory. And the white spot on the curve represents the actual position of the launcher, which permanently sends a telemetry signal to the radars of the ground stations. And on the bottom left, A and V on the bottom is altitude and... Other indication of the velocity and altitude are real-time data. Les paramètres bord sont normal. And also the, the angle between the launcher's antenna and the uh, ground stations. All right, we are into the first powered flight phase, which is the two boosters and the main engine, and you saw the lights uh, before we lost Ariane to the cloud cover. The boosters will be burning for another 20 seconds or so. Uh,